By November, the Jersey Shore belongs to the Surfcaster. The beach chairs and sun worshippers have been replaced by beach buggies bristling with surf rods and fishermen clad in waders and dry tops. Every day's different, yeah, but right. the last, like, every day, at right now, the bird play was so intense. Yeah, yeah, right. And, you know, if, if the fish are there with it, that's, that's you know, naturally a plus. Yeah, exactly. The bait's been around. Like, yesterday by 7-ish or something, it's starting to break now a little bit. It, it kind of, like, stopped a little bit. But early on, it was like guys were running after the birds. And then I, my first five fish yesterday were right with them. And then after that, it was like, you know, a pick. You know this spot, this is Gillies. Oh, yeah. are running. All right, we ready? Yeah, I'm gonna gear up, but you guys get after it. Don't let me be that guy. The weather may be unpleasant and the fishing inconsistent, but the New Jersey striper season often saves the best for last, and no one wants to miss out. So the fish have been on sand eels, so everybody pretty much is using a slim metal jig just like that. It's going to look just like a sand eel when it comes through the water. And also to help your chances, use a, a, uh, a little teaser. This is a red gill. So the nice thing about the teasers is they're a little bit more realistic looking than the metals. So you have the long casting advantage of the metal lure and then the realistic look of the teaser. So you really improve your chances of getting, uh, of getting a bite. Scan it tuning out there. It's a pretty sunrise, man. It's a beautiful morning, it's right. With a cold wind whipping over the dunes, we took our positions among dozens of other surf casters. This guy from up uh, Massachusetts can't cast straight. Sal's in. Might pay to put on a soft bait. Sal's a hero. Well, there's sand deals are around, so you want to use slender metals. Uh, the Ava jigs are popular with a green tail. Uh, traditional tin squids. Uh, some guys are throwing soft baits and tsunami eels and the hoagies. Uh, you got to mix it up, but the bait is sand eels, and you want to use the, the lures and the artificials that are going to imitate that bait fish that's around. If there's a big bunker around, you're going to use bigger plugs. So this is the bait, sand eels, so everybody's throwing stuff that looks like a sand eel. Hopefully these fish are gonna turn on too. There's a lot of bait, a lot of bird play. Boy, they're in tight. It was in much tighter than I thought, or, or it followed it in. Well, I was throwing this thing out in the shipping channels and uh, almost quit on this cast. Literally came right up, right hit right there. Come on, you little fella. I love the color of these fish in the fall. Look at the sun. Look at the light on these fish. Little kubelis, but beautiful fish. End of the season. Here we are in the end of November.
Yeah, so there's definitely a little bit of a slow pick on the beach today. Uh, seeing plenty of birds picking, so there's definitely plenty of bait around. And the bait that's around this year is sand eels, which is a good thing. I mean, the one thing that the surf fishermen down here in Jersey really like about sand eel bites is that it keeps the fish in one place for a decent amount of time. When you have peanut bunker or mullet or uh, larger bait fish like that, they tend to move pretty quickly and they bring the fish with them. But sand eels hunker down in the sandbars, especially somewhere like Island Beach State Park, and they'll hold the fish around for a couple weeks. Guy behind me just hooked up to his third one in the past couple minutes. I haven't had a bite yet, but I'm seeing some fish swirl. Definitely in the right spot, so it's just a matter of time. Yeah. Boy, they're in tight. The color on these fish is awesome. That's what it is. They've been working the sandy bottom for a while, so they just lost most of their color. What's wild about it, it's been a really slow, slow retrieve. I was saying it, it's a really slow retrieve, but this guy just engulfed it all the way down. There you go, little fella. Right now, I'm letting it almost bounce along the bottom. Perna's putting on a clinic. Jimmy right now is in through his, I think he's got two. Wait, Jimmy's not on the board yet. Is Jimmy on the board yet? Look at the size of the shad he's got. Oh, that's a big hickory shad. Look at that. Sal is throwing it like, we are throwing to the shipping channels. Sal is flipping it not even 30 yards in front of you. Every year it seems to be different down here. Uh, this year we finally got sand deals. Uh, they took residence the last few weeks. Prior to that we had a lot of rain bait and we had some albacore. Very few bluefish this season and the stripers just started showing up in shore uh, only the last week. Everybody was anticipating the end of October and, it, and then even into early November, but that didn't really materialize. The boats did pretty well offshore, somewhere out as far as almost a three mile limit. Unfortunately, it never happened on the surf, which can happen, but we're, we're anticipating maybe some sea herring in the next month and get some bigger fish. Everybody, uh, the last week has switched down to some lighter tackle, uh, nine foot rods, eight foot rods. The fish are smaller, so the guys are throwing, you know, the sand eels are around, they're throwing avas, uh, metals of all sorts, uh, and then the soft baits like tsunami eels, the hoagie eels, uh, a bunch of soft baits can work. Some paddle tails, uh, Kettle Creek makes a little paddle tail that's been effective. So we're imitating that, that bait that's around and uh, that's what the fish are targeting. Jimmy's on the board, boys. Jimmy is on the board. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. So my secret was I, I saw the guy on the beach who was catching the most, and I crept up right next to him. So that's a fail-safe strategy. If not for making friends, then for at least catching fish. So. A little bit better one. Man. You definitely wanted that little sand eel. Pretty, pretty fish, man. Look at this guy. Look at all those purples in there and greens. It's beautiful. A little bit of action this morning so far. Yeah, yeah, we've had uh, yeah. coming in a little bit. And the fish were, you know, tighter today than they were yesterday. And everything seems to be working, metals and soft baits, so. 
December, almost December, it's fun. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, you know you don't have too many days left. Uh, Pretty soon it'll be show season and you'll be dreaming about fishing again. <laughs> fish weren't large, but each one was healthy, feisty, and had a belly bulging with sand eels. We weren't looking for trophies, just for the chance to say goodbye to the stripers at the end of another season. And when any bass could be your last of the year, it's perfectly acceptable to celebrate, even for the little ones.